it's Kim of Love at Home and today I will be doing an all day chores video but I will be joined by a special guest which is my husband Jeremy. Hello. So are you excited to do chores today honey? No not really but I will get started. Okay so you guys hit this video a thumbs up if your husband doesn't like doing chores either. So, we'll see you when we're doing chores! Before I start the laundry, I like to make sure that all the pockets are emptied. Next, I would segregate the clothes according to material. I gather the sweaters all together in one load, the jeans and thick jackets in one load, the underwear in one load, the dress shirts and dress pants in one load, the pajamas, t-shirts, and other carefree items in one load, and of course, the white t-shirts in another load. It may seem like a ton of loads, but this is our way of keeping our clothes in their best condition. One thing to add is that we don't put cashmere in the washer. It's better to hand wash a fabric this delicate. We went on a trip to Fresno for New Year's, so that's why we had a backlog of laundry. Sometimes I don't even understand where all the dirty laundry is coming from, but it is what it is. So this is how two weeks of laundry looks like for two adults in our household. To dry our laundry, I'll be using two dryer balls. And now you can see here that I measure my detergent and fabric softener since it saves us so much money instead of just eyeballing it. From time to time, my husband Jeremy takes the responsibility of cleaning the dishes, and you can see here that he is not too happy about it. When I was editing this video, I was cracking up because you can see the blue mug on Jeremy's left side. So he will just leave it there. He's just going to put it there, see? My husband is also the one who takes care of the mail and bills majority of the time. During our trip to Fresno, we shopped for a ton of homeware and home decor. So you can see me right now and I'm writing a full inventory of our purchases. I'm also going to be using this inventory for a future homeware haul video, which I'm super excited about. So as you know from one of my previous videos that our dishwasher is still broken. So it's nighttime right now and I'm unloading the dishes that Jeremy washed this morning. So for now, this wraps up day one. Hi, so this will be day two. 
and I will be doing a ton of cooking and ironing of clothes today because Jeremy will be heading out for work and yeah, he needs those work clothes. I like having smoothies in the morning so I just put my fruits and spinach in the freezer the night before and the next morning I'm just gonna add some oat milk and blend it all together. So this is our breakfast for today. This is peanut butter and jelly rice cakes and smoothie. Every Sunday, I prepare our meals, especially the food that my husband will bring to work. So first, I cleaned and cooked the rice. And there's going to be a lot of multitasking in this video. So if you're not into that, um, you're not into that. <laughs> so now you'll see me boiling some water for the eggplant omelette that I'm gonna make later on. While the rice and water are boiling, I'll be chopping some green onions for the eggplant omelette later on. So you can see me chopping the green onions right now and I know I don't have the best chopping skills but that's why practice makes perfect. Then after chopping the green onions, you can see here that I'm washing the eggplants and after that, I'll be poking them with a fork so that the eggplants will cook thoroughly. Whenever I eat or cook milk fish, or what we call in the Philippines, bangus, I remove the tail because I just feel like it. Now you see the water boiling and I can finally put the eggplants in, making sure that I put it gently so that the hot water doesn't splash. And after putting everything in, you'll turn it to low heat, then set the time for about, let's say, 20 minutes. While the eggplant is cooking, I will fry my milkfish at medium-high heat or medium heat for about 3-4 to four minutes on one side and 2-3 to three minutes on the other side. It really depends on how thick the fish is.
I'm going to beat four eggs while the fish and eggplants are cooking. Then on a separate pan, I'll saute half of the green onion and cook the ground beef. I used the lean beef for this recipe. To add flavor, I'm just going to add a bit of garlic salt and a little bit of onion powder and also a little bit of Himalayan salt and some pepper. Twenty minutes is up and it's time to take out the eggplants from the stove. Just let this continue to cook in boiling water for another three to five minutes. After that, I just let it cool for ten minutes and then I peeled all the eggplants for the eggplant omelette. Using a fork, you can flatten all the eggplants, and you will see why later on. Now I'm done cooking the ground beef, I've just removed it from the pan, and using the same pan, I turned the heat up again, added some eggs to the eggplant, 
and then gently I will lay it flat on the pan. I learned this technique back in the Philippines when we were cooking eggplant omelette or what we call back home, tortang talong. Using the other half of the green onions, I'm just going to drizzle some to the eggplant. And I'm also going to add the lean ground beef that we made earlier. And you can also add more eggs on top of this just to lock everything in. And then after this side cooks, you can flip it over and cook it all again. And that is your eggplant omelette. So this is the food that Jeremy will be bringing to work and I just added some rice. I still had a couple of eggplant slices back in the freezer so it's still good and I sauteed them with salt and pepper and a little bit of oil and this will be our lunch. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you like content on cooking, cleaning, DIY or home decor or Dollar Tree hauls, Make sure you like and subscribe and click the bell notification so you know I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Bye!